Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to the podcast at Nest. Today we have a very special guest all the way from Karachi to the music through Freebird Music Incubator and uh, I'm it's an honor for me to even like you know just sitting right next to her. Uh so we have Anzila Basi with us. Uh first of all how was the experience with us with the whole Freebird Music team? Dude, it was so fun. Um everybody was so nice. Everybody, you know, understood my vision and everybody was like so um really to get my vision uh you know as like a real thing it was insane and um bahut bahut aisa laga ke like main apni family ke paas aayi hu you know so the minute i walked in everybody was like oh how are you okay what's up okay ye karte hain wo karte hain and then like i immediately became friends with everyone and um you know it was a it was a long shoot but it didn't feel like it at all because everybody was just like chilling you know so um i love shoots like these where i can get to like be friends with everybody and you know kind of chill and just we're we're working but we're also like chilling and it was it was a very good experience. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. For the first time we're having this sh- uh, this podcast outside. Yeah. First of all and also bonfire ke samne. Yes. So how's the weather in Islamabad? Dude it's cold. I don't know how you guys live here. I was just telling you abhi thode pehle ke I um pata nahi aap log kaise hain aap. Kis bahut thand hai. Um, being a Karachiite, like mujhe to aadat hi nahi hai na thand ki to main full jacket yeah, jacket tayar yeah. you know <laughs> prepared in like three layers and stuff so nahi nahi main bhi layers pehenta hu main bas uske liye hamare ali bhai ne bola tha ye pehen to main aise hu it looks very nice not going to lie thank you um so let's talk about music because this is a music podcast um you uh, you from Karachi and i think karachi mein sare duniya but islam pakistan ke sare best musicians and we you know artists sab udhar hain so how how did you like i, I know it's pretty really easy ki karachi mein the and with your background as well but how the whole music thing started like with you um so i was um so ever since i was young i i loved you know singing and um mai bahut zyada disney dekhti thi aur disney mein aapko pata hai musicals to har har cheez mein so i used to love that तो मैं फुल ना हाई स्कूल म्यूजिक भी गाने गा रही होती थी इन फ्रंट माई मॉम एंड स्टफ तो दैट वॉज अ थिंग एंड देन वन आई वॉज सेवनटीन आई वॉज इन हाई स्कूल इन अमेरिका वहाँ पर उन लोगों के पास क्वायर्स होते थे तो मैं और वो रोज़ क्लास होती थी सो फॉर लाइक अ गुड लाइक यू नो एट नाइन मंथ्स आई वॉज जस्ट डूइंग क्वायर एवरी सिंगल डे तो उससे आवाज़ भी फिट हो गई थी आई गॉट ट्रेंड इन स्टफ एंड आई वॉज जस्ट लाइक दैट वॉज वन एक्सपीरियंस दर आई लाइक जेन्यूनली चेरिश बिकॉज इट थॉट मी अलॉट and then uh, when i came to karachi and i uh, started living there and you know i grew a little older i stopped singing for a while cuz um you know mai apni nani ke sath rehti thi aur cute sa chhota sa apartment hota tha so i didn't really get to go out much i didn't really get to meet any friends there was not a lot of people who were singers around me so hota hai na ki aap eventually aap thoda bahut jate hain ke chalo whatever nahi gaate i guess <laughs> dil nahi ja raha okay so that happened and then um a couple of years ago i met this whole group of people who were just amazing singers and producers and just very creative people and you know i started like hanging out with them a lot and then i started realizing that this is something that is achievable here and i heard so many like indie artists come out and i was like damn like we have a market for that over here i didn't even know that so when i got into that i started uh, you know looking around and i started listening to people and you know i loved everybody's music so much i was like you know what shuru kar lete hain so then i started to do that you know i i released like my first song which was um with the uh, boss men and uh, you know they helped me release boy please um and at at that point i wasn't very like musically intelligent boss men so, as in purpose people right yeah now. so i couldn't really like explain to them what exactly i wanted um but you know the we took took out the song everybody really liked it and um i was really glad with the response but then uske baad like uh jab mai we indie individual simili sabse um they all like you know sat me down they're like you need to start doing music like we will produce for you and then i like sagar ke like i met danny i met danny z and i met madlock glani and you know they heard the boss man song and they really liked it and then my danny was working with my mom at that point on a project in oh. karachi so he told my mom and he's like I need to work with her. Like I need to sing with her. Like it's got gas in it. And then there was like 2 years after that where all I would do is I would fly over to Lahore, I would make music with Danny and Meros and I would just come back. So it was like a back and forth constant. So tab se leke abhi tak it's been like 3 4 years to that. Um 
we've just been like making music and just been kind of releasing it, not releasing it, but like kind of just doing it and, um, you know, putting our heart and soul into it and trying to get it out as much as possible. Finding the right time to release the songs. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's nice. So uh, you, you, you mentioned about the choir in, in high school in, in, in the US. Yeah. So we had discussion that you very important Pakistan when you came back, you were in high school here or like I wasn't. I was homeschooled actually. Oh, you yeah. were homeschooled. So I'm privately A levels or levels. Privately A levels. Yeah, this is the point which I wanted to ask you that if you were like, like if you went to school, Pakistan me choirs or a system or any. And especially music ka jo system banaya hai, like we do have music classes. But wo music music ni so that's something which is, I think, which is missing in the U.S. Mein bahut achha hai. Yeah, because uh, there, I feel like, in their culture, because a lot of uh, unka to ye bhi hai ki they have church choirs and they have all of these things. We don't have that as a culture, which obviously makes complete sense, but we have rag. Um, but, you know, to a certain extent, like, I love rag, but the thing is that rag mein aapko wo dusre loon ke saath harmonies, for example, karna nahi sikhate. Aur wo aapko... Uh, Rag is very specific to its own culture and its own music. It's yeah. not specific to every single genre. Like if I was in choir, I know that I can almost cover all genres. Kind of thoda bahut cover kar sakti hon. But with Rag, because if I do Rag, kar lungi, then I won't be able to sing every single song because some songs don't require the... Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and I don't know, I never got... I, I, I never got involved in any like music classes or anything here because I didn't feel like um, I didn't feel like I fit in because sab log bahut amazing um, Urdu gaane gaate the aur main Urdu gaane nahi gaati to mere liye bahut I felt really like an outsider ke main to sirf angrezi gaane gaati hu <laughs> you know so you experiment in Urdu mein? Are, you, are you still doing it yeah so the the song that we released recently that was uh, in Urdu and my mom helped me write it um masla ye ke main english mein sochti hu what major masla hai yeah so you know main jab uh, whenever i sit down to write main phas jati hu because i'm like main urdu mein kya likhu because <laughs> mere dimag mein to english mein sari lines aa rahi hoti hain yeah. i'm like oh main ye likhungi main wo likhungi blah 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 jab urdu mein aata to jab urdu mein aata to yeah and i'm like wohi agar main line urdu mein translate karungi it's not going to sound as good as it does in my head yeah. so you know um ye ek thoda sa mere liye challenge uh, hai aur tha bhi but it is something that i'm trying to kind of get over and just kind of be like okay you know what it doesn't matter i should just do it so yeah okay so you're an actress and I you're was. a model. You so you was. I was. Yeah. You were. Yeah. Okay, man. It's basically, the question that we that you, like what I know, actress, singer, and model. Kya ek din mein se main cheez kya? Um, I feel like for a majority of my life it was modeling. Okay. Um, acting is something that just runs in the family. So, was a natural thing, and I did that after, you know, uh, I was a grown adult. Um, and it was nice, but it, it wasn't fulfilling my artistic side. Okay. Because um, in Pakistani drama, you've seen that 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 that I have seen that Awam ne mujhe na drama wali bandi ki tarah dekhna shuru kar diya tha kyunki wo you know wo miskeen hai aur wo she's like you know soft spoken and she doesn't do anything and she's very like plain and simple but i'm not that people started thinking that i was like that so when people would watch my dramas and then come on my instagram they'd be like oh aap english bolti hain so i was like how did you not know this already <laughs> like you know and it's it's called acting for a reason yeah. i'm you know, I'm an, I'm an actress because I can act that character, ko, you know, I can act it out. Okay, yeah. It's not who I actually am. So people okay. were really, people weren't able to differentiate between that character and me. Okay. So that was something that I had to fight a lot. Um, I would have this argument with like, literally everybody on set all the time that no, I won't wear my nails, no, I won't wear my lashes, no, I won't wear my clothes, no, I won't wear my clothes, like, you know, so... And I would fight over like the, the, the scripts and everything. So it, it was really annoying for me because I was like, yeah, we should not be showing so much violence 
in families in Pakistan in dramas. <laughs> it's not that hard. So, ratings are still going. We know. That's the issue. And also, the masses will be issue. Because yeah. even if you go towards the music side of yeah. Pakistan, masses will be in the end of the day. Spotify is yeah. being uh, used by I think top five percent of yeah. the uh, the Bilkul. population of Essay. Pakistan. 95% or 90% I think are the masses and yeah. wo jo gaane hai, wo hum, totally different yeah, yeah. so we are playing 10% or 5% mein khel rahe so you aap uh, OST aap OST, OST bana ke lo, to, that's yeah. something else so, OST exactly. jaisa marzi ho like some of somewhere other other wo pahunch jayega usme millions <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> hits <laughs> yeah. hits yeah. and also agar drama chal jaye to phir to exactly oh, yeah, crazy. yeah yeah so the type of music you do yes and uh, knowing the pakistani market and audience even the new yeah. uh, music as well yeah it's really hard to like you know fit in yeah so agar aap bahar hoti like in the us or somewhere else so are seen different hota um you know i think about that a lot and i i really don't know at this point mm -hmm. because uh maybe i'm not very different if i go out abroad somewhere okay maybe i am just like every other girl that wants to become a singer type of situation okay and it's okay for me to think that because um, maybe in Pakistan I'm different because logon ne abhi tak aisi koi cheez dekhi nahi hai ya logon ne abhi tak they haven't seen like a like a strong woman just owning up to whatever she is and just doing it yeah. you know um, but bahar kyunki sab everyone is like that and that's the mentality everyone lives by yeah. maybe I'm not very different maybe bahar ja ke ho sakta hai you know aisa koi scene na ho Pakistan mein but magar it's I don't know it's just <laughs> this is like a thought that i have a lot okay so um in pakistan like i would like for them to maybe open up their horizons to like new things okay um because it's very new in pakistan and i understand that but i don't want to like i don't want to shake anyone's um belief system or i don't want to shake anybody's like perception, perception about what i am or who i am or what type of person i am like i don't want people to assume ke just because she looks different and she dresses different she's a bad person no it's just something you haven't seen before and yeah. that doesn't mean that i'm bad that just means it's something that is out of the capacity of what you already know true unknown se hame dar lagta hai na yeah to un jin ke liye main bahut unknown cheez hu unke liye it is going to be scary and it is going to be weird yeah. so um and honestly i've i've learned to just be okay with that yeah it's nice so for 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 a good time uh in the past like kafi like before my, i'm talking about pre covid yeah. like the music was totally ek hai ek hi type ke hum sun rahe the and the whole shift like you were talking about the indie shift and everything happened like after like you can say post covid during covid and post covid during that time aapko jo shift jo aaya hai were, did you think ya yaar is shift ki wajah se i think now is the best time to like do music in pakistan the type of shift hai jo indie music ka bahut acha scene ho gaya plus you being a, you know uh, sort of uh, genre you have is quite similar to what you know the new wave ke sath match kar raha hai um i think us point pe maine ye socha tha ki agar indie music uh, if the indie music is is popping off then why not other genres is bahut sare genres in duniya mein bro like there's a mixture of every single genre aapko soul reggae mil jayega aapko um aapko pop punk mil jayega you know there's so many like uh, mixtures of different different genres and stuff um and people aren't exploring that exploring that anymore so um agar hum naye genres lekar aa sakte hain in this country then why not and indie was a really 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 good like um gateway to opening up our horizons to more um genres in that sense exactly yeah so kuch uski muhim start kar rahi hain aap kya cheez koi matlab koi uh, you know kuch uh, planning ke main ab ye genre this is my genre and i will stick to it and i will release this genre and promote it till you know till the end yes theek ek movement start kar rahi hain aap yeah i really want to actually i want to start this um this kind of uh, so do you remember um early 2000s ever living yeah i want to bring that back okay yeah i want to bring something like that i want it to be like this is something i'm going to ask you jo ki har bande ka ek different jawab hai iska aaj subah i was uh, before i was having a discussion with samin as well uh ever ravine early 2000 genre kya tha uh, i think it was punk rock it was punk rock right yeah 
Okay. I think it was punk rock. I think it was a little poppy. I think it was a uh, poppy punk rockish. Yeah, it was mainstream pop, mainstream punk. Pop, pop punk. Yeah. Yeah. So that is something you think? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not pop because I'm I, I don't put to listen to a lot of pop, but um, I would say like uh, like we were talking earlier. Okay, I wanted to do like um, dark neo soul kind of jazz rock situation because I'd be like yeah, but who wanting it? So. It, it would be fun to be one of the first few people to do that yeah definitely definitely so um, as a uh, as a music company uh, i'm working in a music company and I'm, as a being being a member of the freebird music yeah. fraternity uh, a lot of labels are entering pakistan and they're going to they're going they're giving good deals and the whole they have their own vision and plan and everything and for some you know for some good reason they're like you know focusing on pakistan a lot and 2024 is going to be a like i think it's going to be a big year for the music industry yeah uh what do you have to say about labels and all that uh, the whole concept of you know working for a label um i think it's good i think we have um bahut sare aise artists hain jinko abhi tak wo wala chance nahi mila hai bahut sare aise artists hain jo bas apne कमरे में बैठ के एक लैपटॉप के ऊपर म्यूजिक बना रहे हैं और वो बहुत अच्छा म्यूजिक होगा बट नॉट अलॉट ऑफ पीपल हर्ड इट सो आई थिंक हैविंग लेबल्स इन पाकिस्तान इज़ अ रियली गुड वे ऑफ काइंड ऑफ लर्निंग दोज यंगर न्यूअर आर्टिस्ट टू कम आउट एंड शो द वर्ल्ड एटलीस्ट पाकिस्तान वट दे हैव टू ऑफर एंड बहुत ज़रूरी था हमारे पास यहाँ पर लेबल्स आना बिकॉज यही था कि बस विली नीली एवरी वन जस्ट लाइक पोस्टिंग म्यूजिक एंड पोस्टिंग सॉन्ग्स एंड स्टाफ एंड लाइक अगर हिट हो गया तो हो गया but you didn't have like a team backing you up behind it um and a lot of the times at least for me i have a lot of like ideas that i want to execute and a lot of like i have a whole vision of like you know what it might become for for example like my my music career and what i want it to look like and what i want it to sound like and what i want people to take from it for that it can't be like a two person job it i i will need a team for it and i will need people backing me up and i will need people to believe in my vision and what i have to offer um bahut sare aise artists hain who have a very specific vibe um my vibe might be very different from for example danny's vibe right yeah. um but you know that still um uski jo puri vibe hai hum labels what they do is they curate their, his vibe according to him and then the other label might curate my vibe specifically made for me So I feel like that's really important because a lot of artists actually don't really know what they want themselves. So you need another label or another person to kind of come to them and be like, "Hey, this is your vibe and I want to work on this for you." So So the point is that a lot of labels they don't even like they do say that this is your vibe, but yeah. sometimes that vibe or that vision is not aligned to their vision. Yeah. And you know, that's where a lot of labels they, you know, back out or they like they ask you to, you know, mold yourself towards their yeah. vision yeah. and their you know jobin ki ideology yeah. so what do you, like wo issue hota hai labels mein kafi zyada so how if something happens that to you will you are you open for that ki ha jo bhi label ka ga theek hai jo bhi company ka ga theek hai jo kahun main se gana karungi uh main thodi si control freak hu mujhe um yeah no i i feel like i i personally wouldn't be okay with it but specific people i'm sure that specific people might be like ha huh, hame we need someone to tell us what to do and we need someone to tell us what our vibe is so that we can kind of move forward with that and i think it's a team effort um you know if you know you listen to the label and they listen to you and you know everybody sits down and has that conversation get up kya karna hai wo zyada important hota hai rather than just kind of going with one person's idea and that's what we're sticking to so team effort is like the the main thing i think so which kind of person you are ke main commercial gaane baja ke thousands of people matlab sold out shows aur apne gaane baja ke beshak panch banda ho samne mine i'll do if i if i make a song and only two people are listening to it and they like it that's great if if my if my music even hits one person in the heart i'm good mujhe bas i feel like mujhe sirf art se lena dena hai mujhe mujhe masses or numbers or you know all of those things they they've never actually mattered to me because had they mattered to me i would have still been an actress <laughs> good point yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know and i and i would have been like one of those like famous like actresses who are you know doing everything and anything so and not that it's a bad thing mm-hmm. it's just that it's not 
something that I want to do for myself. Um, because a lot of people, you know, me at least, like, I, I like to do things for myself and my happiness and how I feel comfortable and what I like. Jo, for example, if I'm making a song, I will make a song that I like because, and I want people to listen to the music that I like. They, and if they like it, that's great. And if they don't, that's okay too, you know? So it's, I feel like art is very sub subjective. Music is very subjective. Um, bahut specific logon ko, I think, samaj aati hai, and that's perfectly fine with me, to be honest. <laughs> Did you ever like uh, studied, studied music or ever thought of, you know, uh, studying music properly or theory wise and everything? Yeah, at one point. But then, um, so my husband, when we Nea Nea started dating and stuff, we, he was like, oh, I know you want to do music. And I know you have an issue with like, you know, writing lyrics and stuff. So I'll get you a uh, lyric class or something. So I was like, okay, cool. So I started taking courses from Berkeley and it was really nice and stuff. But um, there, and I was thinking about this literally this morning, um, their uh, courses are very outdated. They were teaching me how to write. Uh, they were teaching me how to write um, about country. Music. Yeah. Okay. They the course was teaching me how to write country music. Because I think country music is making the most money. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, girl, I'm not doing country music. What do you mean? And then I understood the point. So the the guy he had a very specific accent. The guy who was giving the class. So he would he would say, what, when, where. Who? <laughs> he used to be like, what do, you, what do you mean? So his point was correct and what he was saying, you know, all of the things that I learned from him. Okay. Um, okay. But the songs references, they were all country music and I was like, damn bro, I don't get you right now. <laughs> I don't understand this. Okay. Yeah. So th that's it, like, you have to music music. Um, yeah, that and then um, Way Choir that I told you about. That was like... Yeah. Cool. But, I'm sure it's a major learning as compared to whatever like Pakistan is doing in the Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I was in Beacon House and there were music classes. But there was one auntie who was playing the piano. They were singing poems. Yes, they were singing. They were singing a book. 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 Exactly. And then we were music class. Yeah, yeah. 45 minutes, you were singing a song. I was in music class. I was in grade 3, I guess. Yeah. 4. Music class में ना वो grand piano हमारा वो जो music से गा रहा हम सारे poem पढ़ रहे हैं वो सारे ये वैसे कर रहे होते हैं तो तो guitar पढ़ा हुआ था तो मैंने जाके guitar पकड़ लिया ना बजाने की कोशिश मतलब भी ना बस एक शौक से उसमें बजाना नहीं आता था तो बस शौक तो था so मुझे punishment मिली थी I got punished कि why did you like you know why did you touch the guitar touch the guitar हाँ so this is what's happening. As a music class, ha. Exactly. That's so bad. That's what's happening in Pakistan. So what do you expect that music is? But I'm glad that good things are happening now. Where do you see yourself in the next five years, music-wise, your music career-wise? Or like some goals you have in mind? Hopefully with more music out. Obviously. Hopefully, you know, I don't know, there are... I, I would say that these are very ambitious thoughts, but um, hopefully like somewhere abroad doing a concert, probably at Coachella, uh, <laughs> next to Doja Cat. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Bro, I love Doja Cat. <laughs> I just want to be next to her and be like, I love yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> after Or and Zan's collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think anything is possible. I oh, think for sure. That thing, that the, the whole project and the whole thing yeah. has happened. Yeah. Dera Ismail Khan is sitting there. Dude, even Ali Sethi went to Coachella and that's so cool. That's really cool. But the point is that, you know, the whole collaboration thing, like anyone can dream in Pakistan in any corner. Exactly. I can do it with Drake. Yeah, exactly. It's not, now we've stopped acting like a third world country. Yeah. And that was really important for us because we oh. constantly, I feel like, or I'm sorry, Pakistan, this might be controversial for you, but like, um, we needed to stop being victims. <laughs> okay. The minute we stopped being victims and we started taking ownership of the things that we have and the yeah. beauty and the music and the culture, we are literally on top of our game. Yeah. Like, we have so much culture and so much, like, so much to give to the world. Yeah. Jo, हम अपने आप हम अपने अपने साथ ही हम रेसिस्ट हैं क्यों हम क्यों अपने साथ रेसिस्ट हैं हम खुद ही बोलते थे कि 
Why? How me? You know, like we can we can all support each other and we can all push each other to like you know go the furthest as we can and um, you know it's a. I feel like um, or give me a This is a very like third like third thought. Um, the music scene for the girls is not great here. Really? Yeah. Um, okay, let's discuss that. Yes, I would love to. <laughs> music scene for girls has been. मेजर डिस्कवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन पाकिस्तान स्पेशली अगर देखा जाए पाकिस्तान का सबसे जो इनिशियल टाइम से सबसे बड़ा जो आइकॉन थी नाजी हसन एवरी वन नोज और उसके बाद लाइक लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट यू नो भादिका क्यानी हो गई एंड लॉट ऑफ अदर यू नो फीमेल सिंगर्स लाइक एम बट स्टिल व्हाई डू पीपल थिंक लाइक आई एम टॉकिंग एन एज एन आर्टिस्ट एन आर्टिस्ट के साथ बात कर रहा हूँ As a female artist, yeah. why do you think that there is no such a scene for female singers? I honestly don't know because I I have I've heard so many amazing female artists. There's there's so many. There's Natasha Nurani. There's um, oh my god, I always forget her name. That's this is so embarrassing. Um, there's Natasha. There's Asteria. There's um, there's Mario Nera. There's so many uh, amazing artists that we have, and they're all made up. And we have not. लाइक ऐसा नहीं हुआ है कि हमने उनको वो वाली रिस्पेक्ट दी है जो हम फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक मेल आर्टिस्ट को देते हैं आई डोंट नो वाई बट स्टिल वेमेन हैव नॉट बिन टेकिंग सीरियसली इन द म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री येट इन पाकिस्तान इफ वी डू इफ वी आर टेकिंग सीरियसली दैन इट्स फॉर द मोस्ट जेनेरिक सॉन्ग एवर विच इज़ रियली सैड बिकॉज लाइक आप फिर वही वही बात है कि आई यू नॉट लरिंग योर Artists, your female artists, explore in their own, in their own aesthetic, in their own vicinity, in their own like, in the comfort of their own genre. Or abhi tak aisa kuch hua nahi hai. And we baat hai ke a part of me was like, you know what? I just want to gather all of these women. I want to, I want to do this huge like concert situation for them, just women. Okay. And all of the baddies, all of them, all of the fem, the 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 most amazing, and they're they're all. Beautiful, amazing women, man. I mean, there is no community yet in the music industry. It's been made of boys. All the boys are doing boys with each other. Oh, bro, I have to sing this song. Oh, bro, I have to rap this song. Oh, bro, I have to do this. But like, you know, the women just like, kind of sit in the corner and we're like, you make music? Nice, me too. That's it. Um, okay. So, do you think it's the, the reason of this whole thing is just because of the mentality or कोई स्टेप्स कोई नो वन इज टेकिंग दो स्टेप्स इन द म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री टू एम्पावर ऑल दिस यू नो फीमेल आर्टिस्ट आई थिंक इट्स बोथ आई थिंक इट्स द मेंटेलिटी एंड आई थिंक इट्स द फैक्ट दैट नो बडीज एम्पावर देम एनी मोर बिकॉज एज ऑफ येट बिकॉज अगर मतलब आई डोंट नो इट इट शुड हैव बीन डन अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम अगो एंड मतलब अभी यही है कि अब औरतें और ज़्यादा you know genres ligar aa rahi hain there's so many women who are taking out different there are punk rock girls that really? are yeah there are like there's a bunch in karachi okay. there's there's a there's a bunch like in lahore and i've i've heard of them and they all make really good music but have to other people know about them no. they don't that's what's sad because they're apna puri jaan laga ke wo music bana rahi hain but kisi aur ko pata hi nahi hai ki there's like cool ass bitches <laughs> just <laughs> chilling <laughs> you know Uh, uh, recently, Zoha is coming up with an EP, Zoha's Very, Achha, Achha. and this that EP is includes of like you know, sorry features gone and all with you know female. I love that. Yeah, it's with Agtas, and she recently released a song with RFB Rishim Fez Bata. I think Maria. Oh, I love her. Mein, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nimra bhi hai. Yeah. And uh, I think there are two artists bhi hai, which is uh, which I think is really good bold you know it step. Okay, yeah. puri album only exactly. featuring female singers I love of that. Pakistan. So I think these these small steps because this shows जो आप बात कर रही थी ना this shows that all the uh, the female singers the female artists of Pakistan yeah. they are like they they together yeah yeah and this shows a really big thing so we are uh, kudos to Zoha and, yes uh, Zoha yeah. kudos to you yeah thank you for doing that yeah. we needed that yeah so that's the that's that's a really big like bold move as well and the big move to be honest yeah. and that is something i think everyone should do yeah i agree bilkul ab humne decide kar liya aap aap shuru kare main taiyar hu where are the women <laughs> get me the women no so, but um yeah we should definitely do something like that where we just bring all the women and just give it to them and be like do whatever you want, want. yeah 
आई होप इनशाला आगे और भी ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स हों एंड बिफोर वी एंड दिस मैं सबसे पूछता हूँ वन थिंग ड्यूरिंग योर होल जर्नी वन लाइन अ स्मॉल थिंग किसी का कुछ एक्ट या कुछ चीज़ आपको ऐसी लगे जो इंस्परेशनल है एंड यू लिव बाय दैट लाइक वो एक चीज़ होती है जो आप बता सकते हो कि यार मैंने ये बंदे से या ये बात सुनी थी या मैंने एक चीज़ पढ़ी थी या मैंने कुछ चीज़ें की ये हरकत देखी थी जो मुझे बहुत अच्छी लगी एंड यू लिव बाय दैट क्या आप एक ऑडियंस के लिए अपने फैंस के लिए और सब के लिए क्या बता सकते हैं आई थिंक दिस इज जस्ट दिन थिंग जस्ट डू यू Just don't worry about other people and what other people think of you because what other people think of you is not your problem. That's just how it is. Um do you um do whatever makes you happy and uh aapki journey hai aur ab apne pace pe chalo kisi aur ke pace pe chalne ki zarurat nahi hai. Baaki sab apna kar rahe hain aap apna karo and uh jitna we sit down and we compare ourselves to people utna we're going to we're going to put ourselves down. So it's your journey. Live by it. Do you? And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Respect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.